Oil plays a vital role in a vehicle's AC system, especially when we're talking about the compressor. With operating pressures up to several hundred pounds per square inch and operating temperatures of several hundred degrees, compressors need plenty of lubrication and the correct oil to survive in these harsh conditions. It's also important for the entire system to be free of acids, contaminants, and sludge because they can cause a number of problems in the system. In older systems, refrigerant-charged oil circulates through the AC system, although the system maintains a certain percentage of oil in the compressor at all times. This lubrication performs two important functions. It reduces friction between metal parts, which keeps heat in check, and it minimizes wear from metal particles that could cause premature compressor failure and clog condenser passages. In newer AC systems, the oil stays in the compressor and doesn't circulate through the entire system. That's why it's so important to refer to the oil amount specifications for that vehicle. When a compressor fails, the oil can tell you a lot about what happened. Compressor oil should look clean. This sample here is from a compressor equipped with seven ounces of PAG 46 oil. The oil is contaminated with iron particles and it indicates that the system suffered from black death. Black death occurs when moisture enters the system and reacts with refrigerant and oil to form acids and sludge, which can clog the system or damage the compressor. The same goes for this sample, which is from a compressor equipped with 14 ounces of PAG 46 oil. These two samples indicate that there was burnt oil in the system, which is never a good thing. When your customers are replacing a compressor, they should always drain the oil from the old compressor to ascertain the condition of the system. This also will help to determine if there's any oil left in the system or if the compressor failure was due to low refrigerant oil. So how can your customers prevent some of these situations from compromising their compressor? Let's start with the dreaded Black Death. The antidote for Black Death is to follow the recommended service intervals and service procedures for flushing the AC system. Cutting corners by not evacuating the system for the full time recommended and leaving flush in the system can break down the oil and damage the compressor. Flushing the system is always recommended when you're replacing a compressor, unless the AC system uses a parallel flow condenser. In that case, you're going to need to remove the condenser and replace it with a new one, as we pointed out in a previous video. You also want to be careful with leak detection dyes on later model compressors. Many late model compressors have a much lower oil capacity, 4 ounces or less, making the system more sensitive to additives. Because of their design, some later model compressors will treat dye like oil, which may overcharge the compressor. Using sealants in a later model compressor can have the same effect. In fact, you should never use sealants in later model compressors because they're designed to react with air, and we know that air in an AC system will clog the passages. It's also imperative to use the correct oil. Hybrid scroll compressors, for example, like you might find on a Toyota Prius, require a specific type of oil with high dielectric properties. Using PAG oil on a hybrid compressor will cause the unit to fail and serious damage to the electrical system. Finally, using a lubricant enhancer can help extend compressor life and improve system performance. A product such as this one chemically creates a boundary film on the internal surfaces of the AC system, keeping acids and corrosion caused by moisture away from the metal parts, which reduces friction and metal wear. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.